Tragedy in the world of auto racing after an on track incident takes the life of a young driver. Now one of the sports most accomplished and highest paid drivers is at the center of an investigation. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Glenn McIntyre. The deadly crash involving Tony Stewart was caught on a cell phone camera. Stewart was taking part in this sprint car race at a track in upstate New York. You see it right here last night when he caused a fellow driver, 20 year old Kevin Ward Jr. to spin out. Ward got out of his crash car and onto the dirt track to confront Stewart. That's when he was struck by Stewart's car and killed. We are stopping the video before that impact. Authorities are now examining fan video of the crash and have not ruled out criminal charges. There is no evidence in hand or no facts that would support a criminal charge or support criminal intent. Authorities who questioned Stewart described him as visibly shaken. They say he is cooperating with the investigation. The three-time champion withdrew from today's NASCAR race. 10 TV's Kevin Landers has reaction from racing fans here in Central Ohio and spoke with a track owner about changes that could come from this tragedy. It's the talk of the track. I was shocked. It's very alarming. No more getting out of the cars because you see what happened. Fatal. They're talking about this cell phone video of a sprint car race. Driver Kevin Ward Jr. is seen climbing out of his car on a dimly lit track and into the path of oncoming cars. The guy should have stayed in his car. Anytime you crawl out of your vehicle on a racetrack, you know the odds of getting hit are pretty good. Which is what happened. Ward was killed when Tony Stewart ran into him under a caution flag. Earlier, Stewart bumped Ward Jr., forcing him to crash into a wall. Race fans were sickened when we showed them the video of Ward Jr. getting hit and killed. They questioned why a driver would walk onto a racetrack. It's, it's a racetrack. It's like getting out of the middle of the road and shaking your fist at somebody that just cut you off. Yeah. It's not a good choice. Jeff Knuckles is one of Central Ohio's longtime racetrack owners. We frown upon any driver walking around on the racetrack. His Columbus Motor Speedway is a place where sprint car drivers come to race. They're very fast and very tricky to drive. One of the difficulties in driving a sprint car like this is your limited vision. This overhead flap nearly blocks all of the driver's right side. It's the same side Kevin Ward approached as Tony Stewart made the turn. Track owners like Knuckles hope this tragedy will bring about positive changes for the sport and perhaps new rules governing drivers who climb out of their race cars. Maybe something good will come out of this. Maybe there, you know, there will be more attention paid.